Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in the day, back in 1995, as you may well know, Microsoft had a digital assistant called Clippy, which was a little paper clip you could interact with while using Microsoft Office. Now it seems that Microsoft is wanting to bring out a so-called modern-day rendition of Clippy, because according to a new blog post, Microsoft is testing out a new Copilot feature that has a virtual face express real-time emotions while speaking with you. So it looks nothing like Clippy, but nonetheless, basically just a souped-up version using artificial intelligence. Now, Microsoft has this to say, and I'm quoting, what if you could see Copilot react and speak as you chat? Now, just take note that Microsoft says that Copilot appearance is an experiment that gives you a new visual way to chat with Copilot, powered by real-time expressions, voice and conversational memory. And also something else to take note of is that Copilot appearance, according to Microsoft, is currently available to a subset of users in the United States, the UK, and Canada. Now, Microsoft has this to say. With this experiment, we are bringing more nonverbal communication to Copilot, enhancing voice conversations with real-time visual expression. This early prototype allows you to chat, brainstorm, seek advice, or just mess around with Copilot in a more engaging and expressive way, according to Microsoft. Now, this is just a quick little short video clip on how this is all going to work. So basically, just to kind of slow that down for you and show you that in real time. Now, I haven't got the feature, but first of all, you would open the voice settings menu by clicking the gear icon. And then what you would see is you would have the toggle here at the top. Now, I'm not in any of those regions, so I haven't got the experiment. And you would turn on the settings toggle for Copilot appearance, and then you would ask a question and just on a side note, if the appearance toggle is missing, you obviously are not currently part of the test flight group. And Microsoft says that this experimental release will be limited to a subset of users as it refines the experience. So it's going to be interesting to see if this actually makes the light of day. And interestingly enough, Microsoft's head of Copilot wants Copilot to evolve into a, and I'm quoting, real friend moving beyond a traditional digital assistant. So maybe sound a bit creepy. I don't know, but that's where Microsoft wants to go with all this. And obviously, I'll keep you guys posted if I get any more info. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.